Hello, my dear people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lami Sakris. And if you are new, please subscribe. If you are already here, then you know me. <laughs> so for today, I am going to talk about Sun in Vedic Astrology. And uh, I practice astrology for a decade. Oh, that's so boring. That sounds so boring. But yeah. <laughs> so I love, uh, I practice astrology, witchcraft, tarot, whatever that interests me. So for today's topic, I'm going to talk about sun in Vedic, astro in Vedic astrology and what I have been learned about it, what I've been read, research, whatever that I know. So this is definitely for beginners, for those who want to learn about Vedic Astrology. So let's get to the topic. So Sun in Vedic Astrology is represents your soul. Sun is the soul, Sun is the first house, that is one, number one. So Sun is about father figure. It's about society, government, your fame and royalty. Sun also represents light. For example, in your birth chart, if you see where sun is placed, the house placement, it will show you where you will get your fame. Yes, and sun also represents your ego. For example, if someone has good position of sun, there's a good and bad things in all planets, in everything. There's a good and there's a bad things. So for we are talking about good things now. Sun in a good position always makes that person very strong leadership skills. This person won't really um, be like using others no they always want to help others. they always want to help the society they they want to work they these are the people who will always work alone but they want to help others and these are the people who won't really ask for help because they always believe they are the one who want to help others because sun is the light that is that uh, that is why these people have this type of characteristics and they always keep their ego in check yes if sun is not in a good position <laughs> I don't really like to talk about bad things but you know there's a good and bad thing so I want to explain based from my own experience and uh, in so many readings I have been seeing this so if Sun is not really well positioned in someone's birth chart or you know malefic Sun this can make them egoistic whatever that i say in good that will be bad here these people always expect others to be depend on them they always want people to look up on them because you know sun they always want people to look up they always want to be stand high and people are always below them that's how they look at people if it is in bad position and Sun also represents fame as I say this will show you if you are someone who's looking for fame you should see where's your Sun place in your birth chart we will start from birth chart then we'll go for the Navamsha Navamsha is always work after 36 years old so right now let's we focus on but chat if you are someone who's new learning <laughs> Vedic astrology so always see what nakshatra is your sun what nakshatra is your sun placement that will show you how your is your sun strong or weak 
n for other traits in numerology 1928 is represents sun number because as i said earlier one <laughs> so if you are someone who born on 1 or 19 or 28 it means you have like sun as your numerological uh, chart as your number it can also represent your soul or atma karka atma karka is means atma your soul and uh, it represents that planets is the strongest highest degree planet in your astrology charts so for number one people or life part one life part one one means you have to calculate your or all the numbers in your birth chart that is what life part number so or your name number if you have strong number one in your life path or name number or your birth number this can represent this can also represent uh, this all the traits that I just said na right now and also someone who born on Sunday because Sunday represents Sun you can have these traits too so always please keep your ego in check and ask for help you are someone who is very hard to ask for help so sun also represents independence you people are very 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 independent these people it's like they are the true leader they are the true independent people they never expect any help from anyone they always want to do everything alone these people are very hard to ask for help <laughs> so so but at the same time if if you know there is a bad placement sun this can make uh, this person control others and um, they always want others to respect them to you know listen to them but they won't listen to others <laughs> if you are someone who feels like you have a strong son uh, or you have a weak son one thing you always want to do is always keep your ego in check and don't control others don't control any situation just go with the flow that is the only thing i can um, say and also sun wherever sun in your chart it also represents where you get the most burn because sun is the hottest planet and it can burn the things so for example if there is a fame there is also some scandal moments or some bad uh, reputation it can happen so because sun can burn the things so be careful wherever it plays it always makes you uh, get the light but also you will get the burn as well so for the number one single number one it represents these people have this strong quality of sun number one always i mean it's number one so these people uh, can have a very uh, strong st a strong characteristic of sun of whatever that i say so for number 19 one and nine so one is sun nine is mass so after you just uh, sum up both of this number it become one so it's like a double one this is also can um, this is also a karmatic uh, number 19 so if you are someone who born on 19 or you have life part 19 or your name number 19 you have some debt some karmatic debt to pay to this world it can be in anything your family society your work your um, hobby whatever it can be in anything but you have your karmatic debt that you have to pay so for the 28 2 represents moon 8 represents Saturn so 28 it means uh, I haven't seen so many people who want a 28 these people are actually like a silent power okay my camera stopped <laughs> 
so we are back um, i was saying 28 right so for the number 28 if you are born 28 you have name number 28 you yeah so 28 represents style and power i haven't seen this in so many people's like a lot <laughs> this people have very sense they won't show uh, their power publicly or very obviously they are like uh, someone who's they might be dominating within their family members but when they are out there in public they won't show it so 28 is quite a um, very strong number <laughs> because there's a saturn and there's a moon so yeah okay sun is also represents government politics society i really say this <laughs> so uh, someone who are into politics and uh, government things you know sun is power sun is also the title so if there is a strong sun these people always want to have a um, title name fame they always focus on that okay sun's color is orange <laughs> sun color is orange and sunday is the sun obviously sun day know uh, people ask about what are the things to do to make the sun strong you cannot um, just see one planet and decide that if you just uh, make prayer for that you know surya namaskar and all this thing it will make it will make uh, your life better you cannot say that in astrology you have to see your whole chart that is how you will know who you are so sun also represents father figure or male figure in your in your life um, can be husband i wouldn't but i won't be so surely say that as i said you have to see your whole birth chart in a female chart jupiter represents husband and in a male chart uh, venus represents wife so uh, sun can represents a uh, what type of male will be in your life so if you want to know more about your sun just look for the nakshatra the star which star is your sun placement that will actually tell you a lot especially that go and read about that nakshatra that nakshatra nakshatra oh my god i will just keep it as star just go and read about that star's mythology each and every star every nakshatra have their own story indian mythology indian mythological story it's quite interesting you you can go and read about that these people have very dry sense of humor and sometimes it's not even funny at all these people can make fun something about um sensitive or they can be very blunt very blunt very um straightforward very direct ah and sun cannot if anyone have sun very strong sun this people cannot keep secrets because sun is the light so it's like this people cannot keep secrets at all they always <laughs> say it out so i've seen this and uh, this people can be very cheerful very hard working very on the go person and uh, as i said they are always want to have that respect in their circle their community society they they won't get down easily they are someone who is very can you, uh, they are someone who's very strong if have good sun these people as i said uh, watch out for the placements and um, 
for the which nakshatra it is placed in your birth chart and you will learn from there there are so many things uh, but I would like to keep the video short now we will come up later and later later there is so much on we I have to share to you guys so thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next video and bye bye